Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane and today I'm showing you how I take photo references for my drawings. I'm going to go through some tips for taking the photos and I'll definitely show you how silly I look taking them. What do I use to take my reference pictures? For my reference pictures, I use two different methods for snapping photos. One is by using my phone, a Pixel 1, that I usually use for hand gestures that I need to take or facial expressions. And the other is by using my DSLR, which is a Canon Rebel EOS T5i. I use my camera when it comes to poses or specific lighting scenarios, which I require for more detail. Saving time and being efficient. In order to be efficient with my photo references, I firstly try to thumbnail poses or ideas for illustrations without any reference. I might want to create an expression, but I don't really know how to show it, so firstly, I try to come up with it from my imagination. Now that I know what kind of expression or pose I'm looking for, I can get to taking the actual pictures. Here are some shots I took for the specific expression that I had in mind. I can use them to tweak my already existing thumbnails to make a final, more accurate drawing. This saves me so much time because I don't have to look through thousands of random photos of expressions to find what I'm looking for. As an extra tip, when drawing a facial expression, it is always better to exaggerate whatever expression you are trying to convey than to make it realistic. Unless you're going for a more realistic type of illustration, exaggeration is your best friend when it comes to showing emotions. Good quality and lighting. The problem sometimes with uh, taking photo references from the internet and not your own is that you might not find the best quality photos out there. You might like a photo, but it might be way too dark or way too overexposed. And that kind of tends to leave a lot of details out and that's going to affect your final drawing. Here are some examples of just that issue. This image is very low quality, so you can't really tell what's going on. And this image is too exposed, so you can't really see any of the important details or lines. I like taking my pictures outdoors using natural sources of light, but you can definitely use artificial light if that is available to you. Here's me taking pictures and looking very silly. You are welcome. I use my camera's timer to help me take my own pictures, especially if I have nobody to take the pictures for me. But sometimes I also make my boyfriend take the pictures for me and that is just so fantastic, I love it. This helps me when maybe the camera is too far away or I'm making weird poses or strange angles and I really need a second set of hands. As you can see, here's one of the pictures I chose to use as a reference image. And now it's time to make a drawing out of it. I like to use my reference pictures as building blocks for an idea, but never copy them as they are. Because, well, imagine the trouble I'd be in if I had to draw a guy and took a picture of myself. <laughs> so use your references as, say, mannequins for your idea. And there you have it. Those are some of the tips and things I do to take my own photo references. It is really strange to do this at first, and you might not get it right on the first try, but believe me when I say that on the long run, taking your own references will save you a lot of time. I know I showed you examples in this video of how to take references of people, aka me, but you can also use your phones, camera or a regular camera to take pictures of buildings, plants or any object you want to draw. The options are limitless. I really hope that this video was useful for you and that it taught you something new. There will be a part two for this, but for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below. It really helps with the algorithm and it helps me be seen by more people. All right, well, I'll see you for the next video. Bye. Well, this is my outro. Outro? Out, out, outro. This is my outro, and I'm supposed to tell you to subscribe to my channel, and you can choose to ignore this. Oh, and also, you can, you can uh, like and comment 
and stalk me and support me on Patreon. Yeah, that's all that it says here.